Hello, hello. All right, we have a blast from my past here. Um, apologies for the weirdly moody lighting that I I started off with here. Uh, as you can probably see, there's a huge glare in the camera over here from the light up there. Nothing I can really do about it. Um, this is a, a really big box, and it's unfortunately kind of glossy. But uh, yeah, Fireball Island. The original game was released in 1986, and I remember playing it as a kid in like first grade. Um, I was born in 1992, so that was probably about 10, uh, a little over t 10 years later. Um, and then Restoration Games, which is a game company that's specifically doing Kickstarters to restore classic games. They've done this, they've done a, a few others. Um, most notably, recently they did The Dark Tower, which is like a cool like electronic board game sort of thing. But uh, yeah, something that people who have gotten Fireball Island before are probably curious about is uh, this doesn't, something looks off here. Uh, it's Race to Adventure, not The Curse of Volcar, which is the one from the Kickstarter. And that's because this is uh, the Target Edition. I had to actually do some research here because I I had seen it at super expensive prices, like 60 bucks and up, and I'm like, eh, I loved Fireball Island as a kid, but it's probably not anything that special, so I waited. And then I saw it Target $30, which is perfect. That's exactly how much I'd pay for Fireball Island. Um... But yeah, then I was confused because I still saw prices for it higher up, and then I realized it was Curse of Volcar versus Race to Adventure. And I did some research, and apparently Goliath, this company here, uh, helped Restoration Games to take a lot of the pieces from Fireball Island and basically make a mass market version to sell at Target. So this is... A lot of the same pieces, I'm pretty sure the same board, um, but it's missing a lot of the Kickstarter specific pieces and they streamlined all of the stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put here a comment from the Board Game Geeks forums from one of the guys from Restoration Games who explained the whole situation. Um, I'm also gonna put a review from uh, Target's website where someone got this and was super disappointed that it wasn't just the super basic like roll and move, pull a card, go four spaces, and it's like got some strategy now. So while this is not the original, original game, you know, and it's not the, the Kickstarter one that's got all the deluxe stuff, like a helicopter and things, I'm okay with this. 30 bucks, that's about what I'd pay for this game. So I, I think I'll have some fun with it. It's mostly a nostalgia thing for me and for most people. I mean, that's the point of Restoration Games. Uh, but then I noticed nobody's done an unboxing, so I figured I'd, I'd do this so that you guys could see the difference between the Kickstarter edition that most people want and this version, which, um, yeah, it has just recently come out in Target. So let's get into it. Okay, I was just double checking that I am still filming. Apologies again for the lighting because this is a large box. It's not heavy because it's mostly a big plastic thing in here. But uh, yeah, you can see just more of the same art along the edges. And then on the back, we have... A picture of the uh, the board itself, which is in frame now. <laughs> and yeah, we see this big plastic board. It's like three pieces of board that you like put together. And it's like all injection molded or uh, I, it might, maybe not injection molded, but it's like molded plastic. And the idea of the game is that you're just trying to get treasures and stuff and the jewel. Um, but then every now and then somebody can drop a marble down and the marble go and knock somebody off. And... Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple kind of push your luck game. Uh, it feels like they were trying to make Mousetrap a little more of a game than the just kind of roll and move kind of game it is. But uh, yeah, let's let's get into this and see what the main differences are. Uh, one big thing is that it opens from the side, which is a little weird for board games nowadays. Whoop. And yeah, a lot of hefty pieces. Get that down. So I'm just going to have to pull all these bits out. Um, ah, there was more in a little hidden compartment here. I was nervous for a second. That didn't seem like enough pieces. Okay. That's, that's everything. This is more of a toy for the most part than anything else. So let's, let's see here. Winning the game. So we got the rule book. Uh, it is, yep, it is pamphlet style, which means that there's one, two, three, 
It's like three and a half pages of rules. Not too bad. Pretty simple game. We got a thing of cards here, which are in here, but then also in uh, some plastic. So they're kept nice, but then you have a way to keep them together, which I really appreciate. Too often board games are just like, eh, it's in the tuck case when you get it and up to you to storm after that. That's annoying, but thankfully this uh, went a different way. Kind of get into the plastic. It doesn't have a tear strip. Okay, got the cards out and these are not great. You know, they're fine. And for like, what is more of a kid's game than anything, especially now in this edition. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Nothing to write home about, but for 30 bucks for all these pieces, that's about, about what you'd expect. Then we have the big boy himself, Volcar. Oh, come on, come on out. There we go. Yeah. This is very nicely molded. So yeah, it's got a place to drop the marble and then it could end up going down one of three chutes, which is already different from the original game. Oh, and there's a little star on the bottom. That's cute, cute little hidden detail. We have the boards, which are, ooh, there's actually like tissue paper between them, which I'll probably hang on to. Um, yeah, and those come together like, so, I think, yeah, yeah, they all just lock in together, you know, it's pretty thin plastic, but with the shape it is, it'll probably be more than strong enough, and I'm gonna keep it in the box when I'm not using it, obviously, um, yeah, that all fits together, Volcar goes right on top, like so, and he turns as things go on, like that, then... We've got all these bits, palm trees, character pieces, and of course, the marbles and the die. So the die is a, a, ooh, I like that. It's kind of a clouded orange, which is nice. Let's move Volcaris in the light. And all these marbles, which are different shapes. Ooh, and the jewel itself, which I think goes, whoops, I think that goes there. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played this game. You know, and that's the original game. All right, and then of course, since I have it all set up, we gotta try out these marbles. Whoops, right off the side. Oh, oh. oh okay. Huh, they're all going to the left. Is there a way to I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that that particular part's set up. Or is my Volcar warped? Oh no, he went down the middle of that time. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that's everything you get here. Uh, I don't have the Kickstarter edition to specifically compare it to, but uh, I do believe it comes with like a, a helicopter piece, which I'm not sure the use of that. It comes with like a Cataclysm track, which is more of a Euro game kind of thing. And it comes with um, more types of treasure. In this, there's just one type of treasure, I guess. So it's much more streamlined, much more simple. Someone described it pretty perfectly as kind of halfway between the original game, which was very simple, like roll and move, get the thing, get out of there. And the new game, which is more strategic. It's still, you know, pretty kid-like, but like there's a little more player agency, it's not quite as random. So this is like a good middle ground, and for 30 bucks, I'm just happy to have it. Similar to Mousetrap, it's like nobody actually plays Mousetrap, you know, they just set up the Mousetrap and they just set it off for fun. So that's pretty much, you know, this is a little more complex than that, but as long as I got Volcar, man, spin out those marbles. I will have to look into if this is still compatible with the expansions is the question because they like, at least one of them like hooks on here and it looks like down here, it still has the thing. So I'm pretty sure it's the same shape of board and will still work for that. But yeah, I'm not certain, but hopefully this lets you know if this version of Fireball Island is one you'd rather get if you've been holding out or let you know, you know, if you have some FOMO thinking like, oh no, they just lowered the price by like more than half when it, you know, has been on Kickstarter for a while. 
hopefully this assuages your fear of missing out that it's different. You know, it's it's like the quote unquote more affordable version, the budget version. But I think it's all right. I'm 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 happy with this. I just wanted to have a version of Fireball Island on my shelf. So with all that said, I hope I let you know, you know, the difference between this and the other version and whether or not you'd want to get this. I hope you will like, subscribe, comment if uh, you have any questions about this. Any other games you'd want me to do an unboxing of, you know, I might do a playthrough of this at some point, <laughs> which would be fun because it's a big clattery loud kind of game. But uh, yeah, be sure to check me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Iggy Kid. Check out all my past Twitch streams, which are on YouTube on Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which I will do now. You can find that. Uh, check me on Twitter at Iggy D Kid. And yeah, check out my other unboxings, which are in a playlist now. And Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good time gaming. Have a good time fighting Volcar. Volcar. Valcar. I don't know. It's a fake name. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.